This is video one in a three-part series on how to measure your carbon footprint using the BDC Greenhouse Gas Calculator. In this video, we will explore the basics of greenhouse gas accounting. In video two, we will review how to prepare to measure your carbon footprint using the calculator. And finally, in video three, we will show you how to use the calculator. Greenhouse gases occur naturally in the atmosphere and are fundamental to regulating Earth's livable temperature. However, human activity has resulted in excess emissions of certain types of GHGs. Of the seven most common GHGs, carbon dioxide emissions currently have the greatest impact on climate and the environment. The seven most common GHGs are shown here. Each greenhouse gas has a different impact on global warming, measured by its global warming potential, or GWP. For example, methane has a global warming potential of 28, indicating that it is 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide. A carbon footprint refers to the amount of greenhouse gas emissions emitted due to the activities of a person or entity. Emission sources refer to any activity that can result in the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, either directly or indirectly, such as burning gasoline to drive a car or burning coal to generate electricity. An emission factor tells us how much CO2e is linked to a specific source. For example, burning a liter of gasoline will have a different emission factor than using one kilowatt of electricity because they generate different types and amounts of GHGs. Thankfully, these factors are published annually by governments and are embedded in the BDC GHG calculator. Since each greenhouse gas has a different global warming impact, carbon dioxide equivalent, or CO2e, provides a common unit to express the sum of these greenhouse gases, signifying the amount of CO2 that would have an equivalent warming impact for a given activity. Various activities, otherwise known as emissions sources, can contribute to your total carbon footprint. The Greenhouse Gas Protocol Corporate Accounting Standard, an internationally recognized standard for measuring emissions, has categorized these activities into three scopes. Scope 1 emissions can come from natural gas usage, company-owned vehicles or equipment such as company trucks or forklifts, as well as refrigerants such as air conditioning systems or kitchen fridges. Scope 2 emissions come from purchased electricity, steam, heating, or cooling used by your organization but produced elsewhere and includes electricity or energy that powers machines, lighting, electric vehicle charging, and specific heating or cooling systems, steam, which can be used for industrial processes, for mechanical work, heat, or as a process medium, heating, which can come from electrical or non-electrical sources like solar thermal, heat, or boilers, and cooling, which may be electricity-based or distributed as cooled air or water. Scope 3 refers to indirect emissions that result from organizational activities, such as business travel, employee commuting, or waste in operations, even if not directly controlled or produced. When measuring your carbon footprint in alignment with the greenhouse gas protocol, scope one and two must be included, and scope three is considered optional, although recommended. The BDC GHG calculator currently includes only scope one and two emissions to help users get started on the emission sources that businesses typically have the most control over.